Okay guys, so I'm going to do a bonus video this week. I, re I realized that um, for our next assignment, you're going to have to do a shirt of your own design, and that very well may include a shirt with sleeves. Now I'm going to include um, the bodice sloper, which is already up on Blackboard, but I'm also going to include the sleeve sloper uh, by itself and also sort of just with this one um, together. And I'm not going to require you to draft your own sleeve slopers, um, but I figured out that you might want to know how to do it just in case. Um, so I'm going to do a quick sleeve draft um, based on the directions in your textbook, the pattern making uh, for fashion design textbook. Um, I'm also going to uh, copy the instructions and put them up on your handout section in uh, Blackboard as well. So you can follow along, you can have that um, handed out to you, but you should all have the information because of course you've bought the textbook, which is one of the most valuable pattern making resources that you can have. Anywho, so we're going to do a size 8 and there's not too many measurements that we need for a size 8, so the sleeve measurement chart is very, very small. All in all is uh, for a size eight, we need our sleeve length, which is 21 and three quarters inches. We need a cap height, which is uh, five and five eighths. And then we need a biceps uh, measurement, which is their circumference, which is 12 and five eighths inch. Um, so we'll keep that in mind. And pretty much what we wanna do first is uh, create a box that is our full length, and our full width that we're going to be using, which again is sort of how we start every draft with the full length and width that we need. Now our full length is our um, sleeve length, the total sleeve length, which I said is 21 and three quarters. And our full width is going to be that um, bicep measure and we are going to add any ease to that. I'm just let me look real quick. I don't think we have any ease on that. Uh, Twelve and five eighths. So that is our sleeve width. And let me stand it up straight. And let's get to drafting. So the first thing I want to do is measure a line down the middle of this piece. So just a line that's going to run down and that's going to be our overall sleeve length. So I'm going to draft a line down the middle, hold alt, and we want, um, right now we want point on segment because this is just our segment here. We have nothing else to measure from. I'm going to do it a proportionate value of in the middle. So 50%. Yep. And all the way down here and we do the same thing down here. We want point on segment, that's placing the, this point on this segment. Okay, right click finish drafting. Now what we want to do is we want to measure down the cap height. So this is going to be the very top point, uh, the point of the sleeve that connects with the shoulder seam. Uh, and this is the overall length of your arm here. Now we want to measure down to about where the armpit is going to be. So this is the cap height. So basically from your armpit up to the top of your arm. And I'm gonna draft another line to do that. And now I want to measure from my original point, from my last point. I don't want any change right or left, so that's fine right there. Then here I want it to go down my cap height, which is five and five eighths. Okay. 
Then I'm going to right click and finish drafting. It should leave me with a nice point where my cap height is going to be. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cross a line through here. I'm going to do this a couple ways, but to make sure it's even, what I'm going to do is um, I can drop down a guideline and use that to draft through, or I can place a point at that cap height, so from my next. And that was my 5 eighths. Okay, and we can do it on the other side as well. And now I can draft a line between the two. There we are. Okay. Now what I want to do is um, create a line basically coming up here like a triangle and we're just going to draft one, two, three. Right click, finish drafting. Okay, now we're going to take some measurements along this line and um, to do that a little bit easier we can go ahead and cut this shape. We could have just gone straight to this as well. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to mark off um, different lengths along these diagonal lines. Um, and we are going to do that in fourths. So we're going to mark little points one fourth of the way here. And this is where our proportionate value measurement box is really going to come into handy because we're going to place some points. I want to keep them ungraded for now just so it's a little bit easier. And I'm going to do one at one fourth, so 0.25, one at one half, and one here at three quarters. And I'm going to do that along the neck side as well. back and make these all grading now that they're positioned correctly. You see how neat that proportionate value measuring tool is now? We have to do very little math. Okay, now that we all have our grading points, what we're going to want to do is um, go ahead and mark out uh, some values away from this. And this is going to help us shape the curve of the armhole. So, what we're going to do is I want a little piece to be able to square off with. Um, so, what I'm going to do is create a little piece. This one I think I'm just going to do. Do one by one. I'm going to zoom in this, on this area. I'm going to rotate my little piece so he's a nice little axis, a nice little square template for me.
nice and close here. Okay, looks like it's going to be a good square for us. So that's going to help me square it out. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab my draft tool and zoom out because I kind of forgot what point this was. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's the top one. And we're going to square out 5 eighths inch from there. I want this green line to be right in line with that, but I want it to be 5 eighths, and I'm going to be measuring from last point. So my total is going to be 5 eighths. And right click finish drafting. And let's zoom out and move our square down to the next one. And this we're going to square out of only a quarter inch. And last but not least, on this side at least, because we got a couple on the other side too. We're going to actually square it the other way, inward. We're going to square that in 3 eighths inch. the other side. This guy kind of needs to be a little bit rotated better for this side. Now we're going to do close measurements to this side, not quite as much. There we are. Now let's grab our draft tool and start drafting out. This is our top one. It's going to be out three quarters of an inch. This one's going to be out 3 sixteenths. And the last one is going to sink in, just like on the other side. I might be wondering why the measurements are different. It's because this is the back and this is the front. And the curve, as you can see, the curves in the um, armhole from front to back are quite different. So we need to curve the sleeve a little bit different 
on both sides. So the sleeve pattern is not perfectly symmetrical and it's important to know that. Otherwise we'd put it on fold, but we don't put it on fold. Then we're going to bring that in a half an inch. have our curve um, all sort of planned out. Let me save this in case I need to square anything else. Um, let's look at the actual sleeve pattern on a whole a little bit better. And what we're going to do is we're going to taper it down to the arm or, or the cuff down here. Now the cuff is going to be slightly smaller than our uh, armpit or uh, bicep circumference up here, which is the full width of the sleeve. So um, when we take a look, the measurement of how wide the cuff is going to be is about two inches less than your R, uh, bicep measurement. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure this length, which is six and uh, point three inches, 6.3 inches, minus two inches, 4.3 inches, and that is going to be my distance here. So I'm going to go ahead and put a point that far from this guy, which is my previous point. And you see that was a nice two there, right? That would make sense because if it's two less here, I don't even have to do the measurement because two less would just be from here. So we know it's the same on the other side here because it's the same same distance, but I can also just put the difference that I want in my previous. And I forgot to grade these, so let's just go ahead and grade this one and I'll go back and grade the other one. And what I want to do is now draft from my bicep line down to here. You can cut those off actually too. It's not really a point. So why don't I just do that? You don't have to go overboard with the simple draft lines. You can just cut. But I always find it a little safer, especially with a more complex line to draft it and then cut it. Uh, we got to do the elbow. Uh, so the elbow is going to be uh, 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 right in the middle. It should be the middle from the bicep to the cuff. Seeing if they have any specific other. Yeah, one half. So we want one half between here and here, so another proportionate value. Again, really getting to see the uh, benefits of having that proportionate measurement. Make that grading. It's going to be the elbow line. One. Oh, that went from all the way up here. I see, I see. All right then. Well, I know how to play that game. this line as well. Now, when I add a point here, will you measure from there? Still looks a bit high. Is it still too high? Yeah, it is. Okay. So, I'm just going to Go ahead, stop it, and measure the distance from here to here. 
here. And divide it in half, so that'll be 18 points, or 8.6, 0 .06. And let's drop that in there, since it's being a little annoying. Now to get my elbow of line, I'm just going to use a guideline. I'm going to snap it right in there and then draft using that guideline. Okay, so there's my elbow line. Alrighty, time to make the curve. We're almost done. So here I basically want to um, connect via curve all this stuff. So let's zoom in so I get a good view. And I'm going to have to cut away and also build out some of these pieces. So I'm going to start here without a click point and then basically just hold my shift key down and um, click on these points to create the curve of the sleeve cap that I want. Release and click. And that is basically going to be my sleeve cap. So what I need to do is build these parts out and cut this part away. Easy peasy. I'll build out first. Let's see if I do the whole thing at once, what happens? Oh, I see. Doesn't like that. Clean it up. will tell you to go a little bit further and kind of uh, angle out this for a little dart here. Um, that's not terribly necessary for super, super fitted sleeves with, you know, wovens with no spandex or stretch in them. Um, it is necessary, but for most sleeves that you see nowadays, they don't really come with darts and they're not really that close fitted. And if they are, they achieve their close fit with a little bit of stretch, like they're a knit or they have some spandex in them. 
Um, I haven't seen a sleeve dart in a really long time, so um, let's just keep it simple um, and use this as our standard sleeve sloper. The only thing that we have to do is we have to indicate um, what's our front and what's our back because um, as I said before the curves from the front and back um, are a little bit different now with sleeves we indicate the front and back always with um, <clears throat> a notch and a double notch a uh, single notch always represents the front and the double notch always represents the back um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this as our back this is our front and what we're going to do is place again the double notch back here to indicate that this is the back and the um, single notch up here uh, for the front okay and we're going to place them um, kind of in between uh, the first two sort of major measurement points that we made so kind of in here or oh no second one so kind of in here so let's zoom in, kind of in the in the sort of middle of, I'd say, the arc. So let's put our double notches right here. So I'm going to grab my add notch tool and just plop it in there. And while it's highlighted, this little box is going to pop up. If not, you can right click on the notch and go to attributes. And um, in here, we can change the type of notch that it is. If it's under main so right here under main click drop down the name use the type here it's going to show you a couple of uh, different options that you can do for your notch um, I kind of like the V's um, and uh, so we have you know one little notch right there and what we're also going to do is doo -doo. I guess just do one right next to each other. I thought I could adjust this to a double notch, but I guess we'll just put one right next to each other. Hmm. I thought there was a double notch option. Should be. There certainly should be. Alright, so we'll just put another one right next to it. Let's make it gotta make them the same though. Or else it's just two different notches. We'll put one on this side as well. And again, you don't have to do the V's. Um, you can do whatever you know notch you have, just as long as there's two on the back and one on the front. All right, and that's the sleeve sloper. So hopefully that was helpful for you if you ever want to draft your own sleeve. Oh, and I'm gonna go ahead and just label the size. Thank <laughs> you.